Here's to one takes. Completely useless because I have, my, I have a built-in audio mic, so it's useless. Hey guys, what's going on? I am Anthony from Vape Runners. I'm Sebastian from Vape Runners. I'm Chandler from Vape Runners. And I'm Garrett from Vape Runners. So today we're going to be doing something new. Uh, we're going to be trying something out that we're calling Juice and Coffee. Uh, the whole gist of Juice and Coffee is that we're kind of just going to be sitting around as a bunch of friends, not just co-workers, shooting the shit about new stuff that's going on in the vape world. Primarily talking about new juices that are coming in that we're particularly hyped about. Things that we want to bring in the store, but might want your input on first before we bring it in and try and shove it down your throat. There's lots of really cool stuff out there. There are so many awesome flavors, but sadly there are flavors that are more for some people than for others, and we want to make sure we're bringing in the right flavors. Additionally, we want to go through Instagram content, which we will show you as we look at, respond to, and shoot the shit and talk about things wherever it may go. Bear with us because the first episode may be kind of slow, but we're trying it out and we're going to give it our best shot for you. So, let's get started. Who is most hype on the juice they're about to bring in? Um, I think I am. I'm more of a fruity person. I don't really like dessert flavors. Dessert flavors don't usually last for me. They're, like, they're not all day vape at all, but this is actually a uh, sour grape candy. We just brought it in oh, shit. Probably, uh, a week ago, maybe. Dude, I didn't even notice that, this honestly. one. And it's actually really good. The grape is really strong, and it's not one of those sour flavors where you don't get the sour oh, sure. at all. You actually do taste the sour in it. Tastes sour and for real. And you guys Dude, can all taste it. I tried the Dibs flavor um, of their orange oh, creamsicle. Really good, actually. Yeah, I know for real. Typically, grapes are like kind of syrupy, like, yeah, yeah. syrupy, like cough syrup. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can actually taste oh, the sour in oh, it. Oh, dang, so I can taste that. Oh, that's, yeah. wow. that's good. Dude, wow. that's, wow. Pretty, that's pretty damn good. All right, so Dibs mm. was definitely a winner. All right, yeah. so I'll definitely say something about that. Another one by Dibs too. Yeah. Oh, sh dang. We have yeah. two choices from Dibs. All right, so Dibs <laughs> on a roll for real. That's pretty hype. So I will say myself that I tried out one of the Dibs flavors, guys, and I tried out the orange cream sickle, and it was super good when I stuck it in my yeah. tank. Yeah. But and don't don't ever do this because this is literally what I tell customers is like the holy sin. But I left my vape in my car for like two hours. It was sunny out. Ooh. The vape juice got warm. And I swear to God, like Ooh. when the vape juice gets warm, I know it reaches a set temperature whenever you vape it. It's kind of whack. Oh, yeah. But it was completely different taste. Like imagine having a nice, warm, sweaty oatmeal cookie in 105 degree weather. Oh, That's what vaping that <laughs> when it was warm felt like. You don't oh, want something man. sweaty going down your throat. You know what I'm saying? No, like, that was kind of nasty. Not at all. Oh my God. So I was not feeling that at all. But. When it was cold, it was nice. So for me, it definitely wasn't one of my top picks. But dude, that was absolutely fuego. Is there um, was there anything else that one beat out for you? Um, no, not really. Honestly, it was just like a, it was a definitely one of the else. best testers I've tried. I mean, other True. than the, uh, the mint leaf, I think we had earlier. And that's crazy because you're not even a huge grape guy. Yeah, I don't usually like grape. We have uh, one other person that works here is actually Johnny, but he's usually in love with grapes, and yeah, I knew he actually really loved it. Yeah, he's a grape freak. You give oh, him yeah. anything grape, he'll, he'll, <laughs> it. he'll suck oh, it down. Yeah. He will suck it down for sure. All right, so who else had a fl uh, favorite flavor they wanted to bring in? Uh, I'll go up. Cool. So we got this, the mint leaf honeydew berry kiwi from Pachamama. So the mint leaf is actually going to throw a lot of people off because they're going to expect it to be really, really, really menthol minty. So true. And it's, yeah. it's not at all like that. No. I'm actually not a menthol fan at all, but I'm loving this juice. You get that. So what you do is you get a lot of the honeydew and berry, the kiwi is an aftertone, and the mint leaf just adds that like cool, refreshing taste to it, if that makes sense. Dude. I could not agree more. I actually got a chance to try this bad boy out from Pachamama. Everybody can take it away. Yes, dude. All right, I encourage you guys to both try this while I say something about it. So we, uh, well, he oh, got wow. Pachamama. Oh, yeah. I know, wow. I know. That's <laughs> what I'm amazing. saying. I know. That's crazy. All right, so uh, once Sebastian brought Pachamama, he's like, mint leaf. I was like, ah, stop yourself right there. That sounds <laughs> really freaking nasty. But I gave it a shot, and it literally just makes it feel so earthy. Like, it was just, like, very, very natural. Mm -hmm. It made the berries feel a lot less synthetic, which all my, like, regular vapors out there, you guys know what I'm talking about. When you go from berry flavors, like, do you guys realize, like, that stuff definitely tastes a little bit synthetic? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Having for that sure, mint leaf sure. in there was not a menthol move. Like, they were going for the leaf, not the mint. Oh, yeah. Like, so the mint was definitely a side touch to it. So it definitely made it kind of like, to me, like, like all right, technical difficulties, but we fixed that shit. <laughs> all right. So we were talking about the mint leaf kind of feel, making it feel really kind of earthy. Um, Sebastian, you had something to say about how, like, how it made it feel like earthy or whatever. Right, right. So in my personal opinion, 
it is actually a perfect summertime flavor because it does yeah. have that earthiness. It oh, does yeah. have that yeah. cool, like it's it's a it's a mint leaf. It's it's a it cooling is. effect mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the actual juice itself. It's not overbearing. If you like menthol, if you don't like menthol, I do believe that you will actually enjoy this juice as long as you like honeydew and kiwi. Yo, for real. How, and dude, that was something else to remind me. All right, so I had a favorite flavor back in the day, like three years ago. I remember, like, I, whenever I taste it, I think of the event. I used to compete pro skating, self plug, lol. Um, but. Hell yeah. So, <laughs> team hype. Woo woo. Woo. So, <laughs> back in the day when I went to Central Mass, uh, Massachusetts, out in the town of Harvard to go compete, I was baking a flavor called Dewey Boba, and it was a honeydew, like natural, natural honeydew straight. It was super soft, Ooh. super smooth, I and it just, that. it tasted, I know, and we can't find it anywhere anymore. So that for me, good. this is the closest thing, guys, like I really think that we could get to that, and right. I, I freaking love it. It's just, it is fire. I definitely love the idea of bringing back in a honeydew, uh, honeydew type flavor that's not going to be candy based because we have the twist light up. Mm -hmm. That one's very candy based and while I love it, it's just not going to be as, as fresh as this one. So I like it 100%. And oh, yeah. I mean, who else has actually had a mint leaf flavor before? I don't even know. <laughs> that's no. what I was wondering. That's a good point. Real talk. Yeah. Real talk. <laughs> really that's crazy. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. All right. So Sebastian, you went through your flavor. Uh, Garrett, my man, All right. what's your flavor of choice? So I got the uh, the Debs Blue Raz. Uh, Parts and Debs. <laughs> Another dibs. It's a nice, uh, just just very smooth blue res. Uh, I haven't tasted anyone like it. It's just overall very mellow. You know, very good, very good. Let's give this a shot. Uh, Let's yeah. taste it on the finger. See what happens. Just definitely, definitely. Wow, that yeah. that reminds me of something, but I can't figure out what it is. Uh, whoa, I don't think I've ever had a blue res that. That it's soft. That's, it's like a, it's like it a, is it's soft. like a cotton yeah. candy on this. Yeah. I know yeah, it's yeah, almost yeah. It's just smooth like a cotton oh, candy yeah. type. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't I mean, really taste like other like blue raspberry. No, it's definitely have. very. It's yeah. definitely a very yeah. Um, yeah. unique. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. So, unique blue raspberry. So what we're pulling from this video, guys, is that dibs. Dibs brand went full freaking send on the flavor lineup. <laughs> Honestly, I appreciate the heck out of the company. All right, plug us. Vape Runners in the background right here. Oh. Go ahead and sponsor us. Send us juice. Just kidding. Oh, no. <laughs> we don't give a fuck. We're selling it because we love it. All right, we love we love the community. That's why we're selling. But seriously, send us a bottle. All right, <laughs> so, all right so I'll move to my personal flavor, uh, favorite flavor that came in the lineup in the last couple weeks. That is the lemonade flavor from, uh, was it Thermos? Is it from the brand Thermos? Uh, so the brand is actually the Atmosphere E-Liquids. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Atmosphere E-Liquids, Thermos brand. This Those is a the lemonade. Same brand as If you ask yep. any of these guys, same brand as Acultus. Yeah, it does. Really? Like, how about wow. that? Well, wow, okay. So, you could ask any of these guys that I'm a huge fan of Occultus. Would you guys say that I'm an absolute lemonade yeah, nerd? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge yeah. Lemonade I'm man. a lemonade freak, <laughs> alright? So, just a little bit of foreshadowing. Uh, we actually are doing some product shooting in the near future for Alt Zero. We will be putting out a lot of media for them soon, a lot of media for these other brands we're hyped up on, which is really cool. And they're actually sending um, us the pink lemonade, right? Yeah, and I actually oh, got nice. it. It just came in. The guy overnighted it to me. He's that hyped about oh, it. So, wow. we got in yesterday, tried on my finger. Oh, wow. Okay, so I have a favorite flavor in the store, and it is the Lemon Twist Pink Lemonade Punch. Um, and I kind of swore it off for summertime use only because of all the great memories that I have with that. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, like memory recall thing is very real for me. So, this is a very different pungent. Like, this reminds me of Chick fil A lemonade. Oh, yeah. It's oh, very, wow. very pungent. It's very, it's yeah, very it's, try it. It's like a fresh squeezed lemonade. Exactly. And I definitely dig it hard. Right. It's def so, it's not, it's not like, you know, like a lot of these lemonades oh, get wow. yeah. overbearing. That's like, very lemonade. There's a lot of sugars in it. Ooh, right. um, this is more of a fresh squeezed lemonade, yeah. like straight from your local kid that has lemonade stand on the yeah. corner. Exactly. <laughs> so like for me, this is my perfect excuse to get that lemonade flavor that I was not able to vape outside summer because of my own personal rules, mm -hmm. you know, and not feel so bad about it. It takes my sweet tooth off, you know, I'm not going to have to drink some sugary lemonade with me being like the little like calorie counting freak <laughs> that I am. Right, so right. I definitely dig that pretty hard. That's definitely one of my favorite things about it. It vapes incredibly yeah. well. Oh yeah, it um, does. I mean, every single one of us has been running it in our RDAs, our tanks, uh, whatever. Um, and it's just, I mean, it's killed it no matter what tank it's on. And that's Everything one thing that is. a lot of my experience papers are going to know out here, a lot of our experience papers are going to know, is that when it comes to what tank you're running up, what RDA you're running up right now, the flavor changes completely. And some people have it dialed into specifically what kind of RDA wattage, resistance, coil wrap they want to run just for a flavor, which is dope. I haven't actually learned that much yet. I know that Sebastian over here is literally vape daddy, so like he can answer like all of the questions for that kind of stuff. But real talk, it's it's really awesome that it's like it's an across the board heavy hitter, and I dig it hard. It really is. 
That kind of stuff is awesome. And do you, any of you guys think any of these juices are like coil killers at all? Um, so th the lemonade is a little bit of a coil killer. Yeah. You know, it is better on coils than a lot of like the lemon twists are. Yeah. Um, in my personal opinion, at least from how far I've used it. Uh, but other than that, it does perform very, very well. I will tell you that it dries out super quick. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh so you, you, you will have to kind of take a second to let your tank or RDA kind of soak everything up. Absolutely. It's a very thin liquid, yeah. no doubt. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's definitely a downside, something to keep in mind for if you're getting any kind of lemonade juice, really. Um, I don't know what it is, but they kind of had to sacrifice a couple of things to make that kind of stuff work. So it is right. what it is. Still a great flavor. If you're a lemonade freak like I am, you're going to be all over that. That stuff is absolutely fire. Right. And with it's me worth, being... It's worth the clue. Yes, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how lemon twist so, was for me. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. There, There is actually a, one more juice I actually wanted to pull in. I just wanted to put a salt into this video. For sure. I actually want everybody to try this. Ooh, the Orion DNA. So this, oh, this is another one. one from Pachamama. Thank you, Pachamama, for sending these out to me. Bougie. Uh, this one is actually a strawberry watermelon. It's almost got a cucumber hint to it at the end, but I find it to be very delicious. Uh, one watermelon is one of my all-time favorite flavors, and I actually really don't like strawberry. But this is realistically like Pachamama. You guys are killing it on the real, oh, yeah. straight-up fruit flavors. Watermelon. Good. Yeah, it's strawberry watermelon. Bro, I don't even mess with watermelon. That's Same. fire. Oh yeah. Wow. Like they yeah, like oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna flavor. take a second hit. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind if I don't. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh right. yeah, I do want to thank Pachamama for sending those out to me. I appreciate it a lot. Ooh. I'm trying to get your juices in the store. Ooh. Yeah, and it's definitely a really strong flavor for yeah. yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can yeah, definitely taste the watermelon. It's not like a artificial watermelon. It's kind of like an actual. It's fresh watermelon. Yeah. Fresh yeah, watermelon. Yeah, yeah. And even a 25 nick, it actually still like hits pretty nice. Yeah. I definitely is. like that for sure. That's really awesome. Oh yeah. Um. All right. So let's let's move on. What we're gonna be doing at this point is we're gonna be uh, looking through some Instagram stories that we see because. Uh, the, the boss unit trusted uh, yours truly as well as the rest of the team with uh, taking all of our BS and shenanigans over <laughs> to yeah. the Big Runners Instagram. <laughs> so we are actually re-gearing. I will take this opportunity to plug it. If you click on a link that I will hopefully be putting right here, I think. All right, then you can right go there. ahead right there. <laughs> right there. You can almost, you can almost squeeze it. It's right there. It's cute little face. All right. <laughs> you have the board right behind yep. us all? It is right behind us. I don't know why you can see that, but hopefully it'll be running on a big enough screen. The camera's certainly high enough resolution. Just zoom in. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry. Oh, my God. So, that is definitely something you should check out. Uh, we are taking all of our BS and shenanigans, fun times, entertaining videos, informational <laughs> videos, aesthetic content is all hitting up over there. So we'll be sure to keep you guys up to date on that kind of stuff. Um, but that's, that's absolutely something you should check out. That being said, I've completely digressed. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the discovery section and we're going to see what kind of interesting videos we can find. This is pretty interesting. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> that what? is pretty interesting. What the ever loving hell is this? All right, I got to there the we go. Hell? We're going to save this as yeet. That thing is insane. Who is actually going to make a mod that big? Dude, right. dude so, it literally looks like a lightsaber. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Like, you ready to die? Like, can you imagine this dude, thing? Savage. Instead of between two fingers, literally between a whole freaking ham. <laughs> that is actually nuts. Everything that I am, that we are reviewing today, or we are looking over in our live feed um, on Instagram, we are going to be linking, we are going to be plugging it, and we're going to be obviously displaying to you guys. I don't need to explain that because I'll be overlaying it as we talk. But this thing is an absolute freaking lightsaber. It so, has, it occurred, has it occurred to anybody that this probably is larger than an 810 size? That thing, he's mm. probably deep throating that. Like, that is huge. <laughs> I don't know how that is actually oh my huge. God. Yeah, what kind of flavor, what liquid is he running that's red? It's, like, it's, it's kind of dark. Yeah. It's probably it's some kind of dessert steamed. flavor. Do they, do they tag the flavor? The Titan Tube? Let's see. So this is actually the Titan Tube, uh, the black Titan on top of it. Mm. Wow. That mm. thing is Definitely nuts, Titan. dude. Huge. Holy cow. All right, nobody cares about Spike Ball or Beauty Oh, uh, I think we, I think you were here yesterday when we saw that video of the kid eating the, the AirPods. I don't care about that. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, what? that kid literally he swallowed up, he AirPods. He walked up to this kid at a lunch table or something and, like, took the AirPod right off of the, uh, the actual air device. <laughs> and then really oh, gross. Put it in his throat, swallowed it, and then put water in and washed it. Oh, my it God. Like, what is wrong with him? Dude, the kid straight put it in his mouth. Uh, like, oh, my God. Like, after he's swallowing it. Dude, the kid swallowed 150 fucking. That's what I can't get over. Wow. Like, who even does that? Yeah, that's that's insane. 
Oh my yeah. lord, would you take and a look he, at this? And then he just casually did that's, it. That's, hey, that's really cool. Hey, wow. that's really cool. So Got people, that French inhale. Dude, he's doing it with a salt device too. Oh, Holy shit. cow. How does he even have the lung capacity? Oh, that's, a ghost. that's a ghost. I think I can do that. Dude, that ghost. The fact that he's using his device to split his O's and his other tricks are freaking wild, dude. Oh, yeah. I dig oh, that. Yeah. So, one of our team members, Johnny, Johnny Boy, yeah, he is, is the that's man of the century as far as this shop is concerned with tricks. He's always stepping up his game. That Bane is freaking sick. Yeah, yeah, oh really my nice. lord. Yeah, wow. yeah, usually you don't see it as like clean, like they usually mm. like yeah, yeah. Vape. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of excess vapor kind of flying around. The vapor normally looks faint. This guy is killing it. I'll be sure to post this up too. That is nuts. That is really freaking cool. Oh, chubby boy vapor. Is anybody else turned on by this? <laughs> right? This is kind of sexual. Wow, this is a little bit. That's a little oh, I, I don't know if we should tag this one. Oh. <laughs> that's a little erotic. Oh, that was cool. I love looking at these people with surprise faces. They have like no Ooh. shoes on in the middle of Bro, they must be- What the- what? Did oh, you no. see what? Yeah. the five O's? Like, oh, that was cool. Five O's. That was nuts. Alright, I'll give him mad credit for that. Oh, Whoever yeah. you are, Kazra. That was freaking sick. Mad props. Ooh. Holy cow. That was so cool. That was freaking dope. What we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna jump and probably look up vape memes and see what kind of stuff oh, we can God. find. Oh, there's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff. Hopefully. So I think we got a couple minutes left. Right, I don't so think we're, we're ready for this. this. We'll run through the vape memes. 40, 46,000 posts. I'm sure we're good here. You've heard of Elf on a Shelf, but now you have... <laughs> Snape on a vape! <laughs> Does anybody have any devices, anything that they want to go over talk about a little bit? Actually, I think my boy Garrett, actually, oh, he just normal. picked up the device. Ooh, yeah. Dude, for real, we've all been in a passive-aggressive yeah, conversation. Yeah, oh, everybody, yeah. Wants, everybody <laughs> wants to shout. Uh, I, you, in. you should actually get up, give him a little close-up right. shot of that thing. I'll get the close-up. I got myself the Paranormal Mod. Uh, who's it by? Uh, Lost Vape. Lost Vape. We'll go ahead and do the close-up shot. Uh, it's... Uh, yeah. it's yeah, you can DNA yeah, yeah. 20 or 250? DNA 250C chip. Yeah, dude, uh, that chip is 200 watts. Device. It's 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 amazing. I've never had a mod hit so smooth. It's got got some Kevlar on it. So, whew, it is so good. Also now, got, doesn't also have the replay mode on yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It has the, the replay, replay mode. Killer. So, the, yeah. the difference between the DNA 250 and the DNA 250C is the DNA 250C actually just stands for 250 color. It's Fully yeah. customizable. You oh, can yeah. put your own pictures on the screen. So you can nuts. you can get rid of the date if you want to. You can get rid of even your wattage if you really want. Yeah. To. Like you, mm -hmm. it's, you can get rid of whatever you want. You can put whatever you want onto this device. Yeah. Clean device. Now, just to put in perspective, the, anything with a DNA chip is good. Like the drag. I think it's you have the drag. The drag is like ridiculously yeah. nice. Yeah. It's like these Dude. these have the DNA 250 in them. The drag has gene chip in it, which was made to compete with only DNA's ramp up time. It was meant to try and have just as fast of a ramp up time. That's it. Yeah. Don't be, don't be throwing off the, oh, the letters oh. aren't on there anymore. But yeah. I mean, I beat the piss out works. of that poor thing. I'm not even gonna <laughs> do a close up shot of that because that's garbage. What? But for real, I want to talk about something on this thing, guys. And what blows me away is the programmable hit curve tuning. Mm. Oh, Not yeah. enough people yeah. know about that. Oh, There's yeah. so much hype, they're like, oh, that's a lot of words. I, I didn't listen, run it by me again. <laughs> Completely understandable. But like, Sebastian definitely be daddy for that one because this man's <laughs> been on the DNA train for a fat minute. So like, yeah. definitely like, school me up even because I know I don't know everything about definitely. it. Definitely. So like, yeah. so realistically, like, I mean, what you can do is the biggest factor of the DNA chip is, yeah, it does have, on box, you can actually tune your replay mode, so let's say, you get a hit you like, but let's say the beginning has a little too much just kick to it. You can actually go and you can tune that beginning hit down a little bit so it actually builds up a little more into your hit. Yeah. Um, so same thing with these guys. These actually you can yes. you can adjust your wattages. This thing goes Love up the to, Orion DNA. This thing goes all the way up to 40 watts. I have it set to 10, 11, and 12 watts right now because 40 watts is ridiculous. So, really cool thing about the DNA, or the paranormal to be exact, is that what you can do is, let's say you don't like going up at 0.1 increments on your wattage, you can tune it to go up 1 increments. You can tune it up to go up like 15 increments. Yeah, that, that's one <laughs> um, feature I found that was really yeah. cool. Yeah. So, a, a lot of it, it's fully customizable. You can tune it to however you want your vaping experience to go. Dude, to me, so, it's completely nuts. worth any price point for oh, a yeah. DNA chip in it. Because, like, there have been points where I've been like, yo, the longer I take a drag on this thing, the less I like it. Yeah. And I, I feel like tuning the hit curve so it just kind of drops a mm -hmm. little bit for you would yeah. be incredible. Yeah. Like, yeah. You yeah. can make it hit that perfect wattage Which the I think whole it, time. I think it's nice, even though it's like more for like an experience paper, I think it's nice to have a replay mode. Yes. It's 
Because if you accidentally get thrown get off by something, yeah. like if it's too harsh, it's mm-hmm. intimidating. Like too little, then I think it's really nice to yeah. throw people. Yeah, yeah. Like, a lot. Bottom line is, all vapes are kind of inconsistent. Like, yeah. I mean, like it's I mean, it's just how it is. is but... It's it's electrical current. Like, so mm-hmm. this device is capable of reading the current the yeah. current status of your coil. It's actually that. ridiculous. But you crazy. get yeah, and you get a hit that you really like, and you save that. It's save like it's a little bit more uh, hit and miss random fire. Oh yeah. But you're because of the quality of this box. Damn, this thing feels good. In my oh hand. yeah. <laughs> because of the quality of this box, like it really does kind of like. Mm-hmm. You're gonna get that good hit, and it'll it'll allow you to save it, so you don't have to worry about going back into your your device and resetting everything. Like it's really just a genuinely nice device. And it's got it's got a nice LED screen. It's not too oh, yeah. small. Like yeah. a lot of I know a yeah, lot of things I've seen online personally that they're way too small. You can barely read them, and yeah. they just mm-hmm. it, if people get thrown off by that. They might have like everything into it, like the replay mode. They might have the day and age that they might have, but the screen is just way it's too crystal, small. Yeah, man. Whether it be yeah. a touch screen, it could be too big, it could be too small, and people get thrown off by it. And it's actually not an uh, ugly device at all. Mm-hmm. Oh, all dude, what, one really thing gorgeous. I want to I want to mention about this. Uh, normally vapes, when you hit them at let's say 60 watts, you're gonna be hitting a couple watts of, uh, below because just because it's not true wattage with this mod. If you put it on 60, you're hitting it on 60. 60. Yeah, it's, oh my god, it's damn I near 60. That. Mm, I yeah, that. I know with my person, mine's an older mod because it's a little beat up, but mine after like I usually do it 95 because my floor is run 80 to 110. But they, it, the, I hit 95 one day and it'll feel completely it's different the next day. Yeah, it's yeah. So good. But I mean, I just, like, that. that's why I think we were all in a competition to actually Still get the paranormal. Fun, yeah. Luckily, yeah. Uh, Garrett got it first. <laughs> that, that's, that's just way the number one job. Dude, we're all like a little bit butthurt, but we're all so hyped for it too. Oh, so yeah. We're all like, damn, we really want to. Like, for me, I'm like, damn, that's like. That is an actual full insurance payment on my race oh, car. Like yeah, I yeah, cannot yeah, that. Yeah. My man's like, forget all y'all. I'm taking this home. It's too hyped to pass up. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think that that's the only con with it. Is it's for, it's uh, pretty it's, pricey. It's, 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 worth it's, got, it's got a it's, nice price tag on it. Yeah, it's but, definitely like, worth the price though. Definitely. definitely. But like that being said, guys, I feel like we can all definitely agree that it's worth every last penny it's, of what it's worth to offer. Any, anything you spend, if you drop two hundred dollars on that mod, it's worth two hundred dollars. Like honestly, if you're buying a Las Vegas product, I mean Sebastian, you can attest to this for sure. Like you're buying a Las Vegas product, like you are genuinely getting your money's worth. Oh, they yeah, are higher sure. priced, but they haven't like one thing I really like about the Las Vegas company is they haven't fallen victim to the hype. Like they yeah, haven't been yeah. like, oh, we're a hype company, we're gonna boost yeah. our prices and keep making average right, right. Like, average product. I really do like that a lot. It's like, got, really it's got a nice way so, to it. Too. Lost Vape, Evolved DNA. You guys are killing it out there. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. guys. Sure. Again, plug, sponsor us. Sponsor <laughs> us. <laughs> Feel free to send in a whole set of paranormal yes. two fifty yes. Cs. Like yeah. we said before, we're making a lot more content. I mean to go into the next device, you know, it's not as hype as anything with the DNA chip in it. This is just an RDA from the Vapor Chronicles, Digi Flavor, and Hell Vape comes the drop dead. Hell yeah. This device is it's, it's one of my favorite RDAs. You can't beat it. Yeah. Um, it's amazing flavor. Mm-hmm. Pretty easy to build if you got the right tools for yeah. it. And they're inexpensive to get a hold of. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah. It's inexpensive. That that's that's definitely a nice mech for the price tag. Yeah. I agree. I agree. The, the mech the is definitely nice. Yeah, the, the, the Chronicle yeah. mech. That's the machine gun looks nice. beautiful. We have pictures on our Instagram. All right, so. Guys, it's been real. Thank you for sticking with us for our first episode of Juice and Coffee. We hope to see you guys again soon for the next episode. This is the Vape Runners team. I'm Anthony. I'm I'm Chandler. (laughs) I'm Sebastian. I'm Garrett. We're signing off. We'll see you next time and hang tight. Have a good day.